Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Rav Yoshi, right back at you. Here we go. Um, so we talked about context, about building on bits and pieces of truth. Uh, in, in Netzari Judaism, Christians are notorious, uh, Netzari Judaism is notorious for saying that Christians one-liners. Uh, they always like to point out that Christians seem to grab one-liners, and, and that's okay. Um, Messiah Yeshua did that when fighting against Hasatan. Not that we are Hasatan, but anyways. <clears throat> Here's the point I'm trying to make. We're gonna um, the next section I'm gonna take you to is in Jeremiah. Before I get any emails saying, Rabbi, why don't you use the Hebrew name? Because Christians don't know them. Okay, I can use the Hebrew names and you would be totally lost. I could do this whole drosh in Hebrew. And you would be like, well, why is he speaking in Hebrew? We wanted some revelation. I'd rather speak five words in a known than ten thousand and, and not known. Okay? And that's no, another horse of another color. So anyways, Jeremiah chapter 31, starting in verse 31. Okay? And it says this. Behold, the days are coming, declares Yahweh, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. It's Adonai speaking, and he's speaking through his prophet, Jeremiah, to the house of Judah and Israel. Not some, some new-to-be-created thing. Okay? Not like the covenant which I made with their fathers in the day that I took them out of the, out of the land to bring them out of took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt. My covenant which they broke, although I was a husband to them, declares Yah Adonai. But this is the covenant which I will make with the, the house of Israel after those days. There's a clue in the text. After those days, I will put my law within within them, and on their heart, and I will write it. And on their heart, I will write it. And I will be their El, and they shall be my people. They shall not teach again each man his neighbor and each man his brother, saying, No Hashem, no Yahweh, for they shall all know me from the least of them to the greatest, declares Adonai. For I will forgive their iniquity and their sin, and I will remember them no more. Very important things to, to take note. My dyslexia is acting up, so I'm going to put on my glasses. Okay. Thus says Yah, who gives the sun for the light of the day, and fix the order of the moon and the stars by night, who stirs up the sea so that its waves roar. Yahweh of hosts is his name. Adonai Sehot is his name. If the fixed order departs from before me, declares Yah, then the offspring of Israel shall also cease from being a nation before me forever. Thus says Yah, if the heavens above can be measured out, and the foundations of the earth searched out below, then I will also cast off all the offspring of Israel for all that they have done, declares Yah. For the days are coming, declares Yah, when the city shall be rebuilt for, the, for Adonai from the tower of Hanel to the corner gate, and the measuring line shall go out farther straight ahead to the hill of Gareb, then it will turn to Goa. And the whole valley of the dead body, and the whole valley of the dead bodies, and out of the ashes, and of the fields as far as the brook of Kidron, to the corner of the horse gate toward the east, shall be Chodesh, holy, set apart to Adonai. It shall not be plucked up forever. It shall not be plucked up or overthrown any more forever. So he's talking about a future event. He's talking about something to happen in the future, and he says. If you, you know, there's some very important things. First of all, the new covenant. What's the new covenant? It's the Torah in us. Oh, no, that's Yeshua in you. Yes, Torah, Yeshua. Torah, Yeshua. Same thing. One written, one visual. Same person gave it. Now, the next point to make is that the Torah in us is the new covenant. Okay? or what the Hebrew calls the Brit Chadesha, the Brit Chadesha, the renewing or the making new again of the covenant. Okay? But he doesn't do it like he did back then. He doesn't just write it on stones and give it up to us to try to internalize it. He puts it in us. Big points to be made. Okay? The next part is the part that you use to show that Israel is never replaced. If you can measure out the heavens above, and they still can't measure them, Scientists say, oh, we're still not sure of the total dimensions of the heavens above. Or if the foundation of the earth can be searched out. And people say, oh, well, they've dug tunnels. No, the foundation is the center. That's the foundation. So if you can get to the center of the earth and, and search it out, come let me know. 
then Israel will be cast off. And only then. Okay? These are Tanakh prophecies. These are prophecies from the Tanakh, Navim, the prophets. Okay? Have they been fulfilled? Yes, some of them. Some of them have been fulfilled, but not all. I'll be back shortly.